And when they see you carve your way to the truth, desiring the truth from Islam, from Christianity, from secular cultures, from this nation, from that nation, from Africa, from the US, from Europe, from Afghanistan, from India, from Israel. They see you. They see you from college, from the army, from the university, from school, from, from the streets, from the pubs, from the clubs. They see that you have changed. They see that you desire the truth. It wakes up the passion inside of them, that holy spark. Immediately, an inner attachment to you, to your honest path, is pulling them out from their darkness. And they want to start following the truth from their place, from their lonely place, from their darkness. And they can enjoy your light if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're just a clerk in an office, if you work as, as a seller in, in Walmart or, or, or in a garage, if you're a homeless that walks in the street, if you're a person of truth and you desire the truth, the truth is shining through you and affects your surroundings. You should not become a genius or a preach, preacher or a mentor or a rabbi or I don't know who. You don't need to become famous to affect the world in a positive way. Because you've been created in a certain shape with different and unique qualities that are needed for the completion and correction of the world. There are people who need to take care of animals and in the same time you need to have teachers in school. You need to have people to clean the streets and you need to have people to design street signs. You need to have people who are good with math and people who are amazing with languages, people with great memories and people who forget everything momentarily. We're all important and we're all useful for the sake of the world. Like that all the animals are different and they have different and unique qualities. Like that all the trees and flowers are dif different one from each other. But they're all important and they have a great use. Also you. And you're more than any other creation. You're a human being. You're a child of the holy soul of Adam and Eve. And your light is shining through you to your area, to your environment who needs you. And you should allow the inner light of your goodness, the quality of the light that has been treasured inside of you by the Creator to shine. For that you need to believe in yourself and not to let all those ones who are criticizing you and trying to break your spirit and to downgrade you in your own eyes and in the eyes of the world, you need to prevent them from rebuking you or at least not to listen and to keep on shining elsewhere. 